Okay, I'm going to try to keep this as straight and concise as I possibly can. This is my fourth damn take, because every time I do this, I get a fucking long-ass ramble. So, I mean to do a video on this for a damn while, but besides that, I am the NRA video. You kind of saw it with when it still had the original wood furniture on, uh, hand guards on it. So, well, those are what they look like after they were sanded and everything, because, you know... They were sitting in a warehouse somewhere in Eastern Europe for 30 years, so they looked all nasty. Got the new American, I got some new American made ATI handguards. So I need to work on it a little bit. Get a little groove in there for the clean rod. So I can get the clean rod. It, will, it stays put, it stays in place just fine. But, but, I think about getting a new. Muzzle brake. It's not loaded. Well, obviously not, because I wouldn't be fondling around a gun like this. It was loaded. But, you know how the fucking safety sallies are. So, it's getting hard to do this one, ain't it? It's hard to do this one handed, but, oh well, let's try. There we go. Not loaded. Fine. It suck right there if I hold my hand. Up. Well, it doesn't only unless I hold it there. So uh, there you go. Remaining Wasser 10. You know, kind of the bottom of the barrel. Need to work on it. Of course, this is the Tapco. Should get Tapco mags. They fit in there just fine. Just the first one it grabs a some Bulgarian Circle 30 mag. So yes, I can use foreign made. Four main magazines in this one, so. Got a K bar rail on it. No optics. Too cheap to go get one yet. So. K bar. It's a K bar fucking. Optics rail. Semi on Mac. Got a 30, generic 30 round on here. I got a. It's not a Tapco, it's a Red Star trigger. So I don't have to worry about worry about fucking trigger slap where because when you when the bolt goes back kind of catches on the uh I can't remember the name of it not the hammer the thing that locks the hammer down we suppress the trigger kind of connects the hammer to the trigger so when you pull it down it's not the front side's not canted. I can tell you that three main problems with these canted front sight, mag wobble, and trigger slap. The only problem it has is a little trick uh mag wobble. Doesn't do it when it's full or when it's empty. When it's full it doesn't wobble. It's not taco. So it's a little loose. A little loose. I'm gonna try to keep this video in one take. So I could just upload it because I hate editing video. So, what we'll I have to do is put something in there because I don't got the dimples for receiver strength that has these little things. I'm going to get, try to use some, uh, thick, some sheet metal, fold it, the wall down there, get them so the mag's staying nice and firm when it's an empty magazine, safety leather, lever. It's the original Century Arms pistol grip. The main things are not good. All the numbers match on, on this on this rifle, except for this little part right here where you lift the dust cover where it holds the uh, recoil spring. The little bit of metal right there, that's the only thing that doesn't have matching numbers to the rest of the gun. So. So beat that arsenal where it only had pretty much the receiver and the dust cover like the only two matching number parts, not even the leaf sights match. Leaf sight is in the post bow position side up to a th thousand meters. 
course. I got got one laying around right here. This is not capable of firing up to a thousand yard, a thousand meters. This thing pretty much loses all its accuracy at fucking about 230 yards, a little over 200. You're lucky you'll get to 300 meters. I think that's like the first will go. It's pretty good up to 230 yards or 250 meters. Once you get past 300 meters, it, you're shit out of luck with this. So. Now, 7.62 uh, Soviet cartridge is not the big huge powerhouse you know it's a varmint round slow heavy it's like a 30 30 with 30 caliber with one along look 39 meters shorter than a 3 Winchester so not it's a slow heavy round so of course in the movies they make these things look like they fucking rip through six inches of steel they can't be like a quarter inch it's not they're not, it's not the most powerful cartridge in the world so enough of that yep front sight not canted mag wobble it's the only thing only minor defects mag wobble well mag's not in there you can hear you can hear the uh, I think for the sling right there that's the only thing they can do it yeah. Of course, this is an AK. It's not meant to be. It's not a precision instrument. So, there we go. One Monster 10. Had for a while. Finally made someone a video of it for once. May I can arrange video? I think I make my next gun the fucking Russian American Armory. Yeah. It's like a 308 version 21. I want to get one of those, but not bad. It's not the, it's not the look. It's not a Chinese Polytech, so pretty much all 8K variants work the same. The virus sense 6.32 by 39 millimeter cartridges. It pretty much all works the same. You can get these in other calibers, but your main one's gonna be your 7.63 by 30, uh, 7.62 by 39 millimeter. It's not bad. Let me get one of these here, say again. I think my next one I plan on getting is a Yugoslavia and 70 M70 AB01 wire. With the under folder. This one I wanted to get, but they, but they sold it, so it's not Wasser 10. It's got a chrome line barrel, which is good. Don't have to worry about you can use corrosive ammo and not worry about your barrel fucking up. With the Yugos, they don't have chrome lines, so that's like their major downfall, unless you can find some that do have chrome lined, but this is decent. Not a rip off like fucking Arsenal. Charge you like a twenty five hundred, like twelve hundred bucks for something that's not even that much better. It's an AK. They're not meant to be fucking perfect. I fired Arsenal, so they're not that much better than these. You just don't have the mag wobble. This ain't got canted sights. Gas tube's fine, so. Besides the mag wobble, it's pretty fine. Really, what you should do, if you really want a Russian, just get a Russian American Armory Saiga 7.62 and convert it yourself. Don't waste money on a fucking arsenal. Might get a Polish Tantal uh, side folder. Really want to get a Yugo. So, there you go. Fuck y'all.